Surely you feel some compassion for these chimpanzees who Howard Milstein has left to starve to death. Sir, you have the power to do the right thing here. Talk to your neighbor. He lives in your building. You have the opportunity to speak to him, sir. Ma'am, please talk to Howard Milstein if you live here. You've got 66 students to die. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let him know how you feel, please. We don't want to be here either. But we're going to keep coming back until he reinstates the funds. Can you please speak to him for us? Slide a note under his door. We're here at the home of Howard Milstein on Park Avenue, reminding him once again of his promise to provide lifelong care for the 66 chimpanzees who the New York Blood Center abandoned on islands in Liberia. They made $500 million off these chimps, literally, in, in royalties, and now that they're done with them, they dropped them off and left them there to die. And if it weren't for volunteers, these chimps would be starving to death right now. In its most recent statement, which it issued a day after our last protest, the New York Blood Center actually said that humans are more important than animals, which is why they've cut funding to the chimps. They earned $500 million in royalties off of the research conducted on these chimps. There's a man in this building who's a multi-billionaire who's left 66 chimpanzees to die on islands. And you're asking me when I saved a person? That's what you do, take 66 chimps left to starve to death, but we're so sorry to bother you. That's how you react. I used to be a blood donor at New York Blood Center. I'm going to find somewhere else to give my blood. Mr. Milstein should be totally ashamed of himself.